I'm Professor Jimmy and welcome to the video series of Critical Thinking in the Age of Social Media. And today we're going to talk about the whole idea of argument or arguing. And it's unfortunate that when most people hear that term, arguing or argument, they think of something negative. They think of conflict, they think of fighting. Well, if you're in my class or the way I use the term arguing or argument, it's a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing and it's a process that most of us should engage in a lot of the time because it's the way we refine ideas and make maybe poor ideas better or good ideas great is is arguing because it's a refinement process so a lot of us think that well when we argue the goal has to be to win and i would suggest that no the goal is not always to win in an argument in fact sometimes the best objective is to lose an argument so for example uh, if you're in a burning building and you're on the fifth story and there's two exits out, two stairwells out, and you know one has been burned out, but you're not sure which one, and you're convinced stairwell A is the right way to go. But somebody else comes up and says, no, stairwell B is the right way to go. Okay, what is my objective in that scenario? Is it to win an argument or is it to save my life? Is it to live? Well, my objective is to live. And if my opponent, in this case, has a better argument, let's say, oh, you know, I'm the engineer that designed this building, I saw stairwell A go out, guess who's willing to concede that argument and to say, I lost? That would be me. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people make the mistake uh, to win arguments, especially in terms of relationships, that you get in a fight with a significant other, it's about winning. Well, think about it. The key word here is objective. What is your objective in a relationship? Is your objective in a relationship to win arguments? Maybe, uh, but I would suggest that it's not going to be an objective that's very sustainable. No, an objective in a relationship is camaraderie, partnership, happiness. And so by winning an argument, does it really contribute to your overall objectives as one participating in that relationship? There's a lot of people who've won a lot of arguments in their relationships if they lost the war because ultimately the person that keeps losing um, says goodbye. Now there's other contexts where you absolutely want to argue to win. And I would suggest that in a court of law, for example, you don't go there to lose, you go there to win. So really the key to argumentation is really keeping a good idea of what your objectives are and sticking to those and don't get caught up in the egotistical endeavor of winning every argument that you engage in. Uh, that's misguided because often argument is a refinement process and we can come to better conclusions when we argue effectively together.